Hi everybody, Vampire Birdie here once again, and I've got a smorgasbord of Christmas special sweets to try out, so let's get right down to it, shall we? Okay, first up we've got uh, these two little guys, uh, pink ones full of mini Smarties, and a uh, uh, Milky Bar Polar Bear, so try the Polar Bear first. So that's what happens with uh, Golden Halloween. This one has its own dedicated mold, so it's all the polar bears. So it's specifically for Christmas, not just a generic skin of Christmas wrapper. Mm. Oh, it's always complete. Tastes okay. Tastes most part things. Like no surprise, it's probably like that. Now, penguins are not a choice since Santa, Santa lives at the North Pole, penguins are only found at the South Pole. Well, Southern Hemisphere, but the Emperor Penguin, which is one people mean, yeah, only in Antarctica, which is on the opposite end of, end of the planet. But still, might be nice. Hmm. Once again, the penguin, dedicated mold. Good work, guys. That I actually like how the chocolate really ties into the holiday rather than just being a generic thing in a sweet wrapper. Mm. Chocolate itself is pretty bland, if not much better. You know, as you can. Okay, yeah, uh, how do you turn it? Okay, there it is. Oh, yeah, as you can see, there's little mini Smarties in there, which I'm sure kids would like. Well, the Smarties are definitely being a total brand. It's pretty good. Uh, I like how there's a uh, Higher mix of candy to chocolate in there, so they have a different taste and texture. Very nice. Next up, I have a Kinder Surprise Santa, and it feels like it has a toy in it. So, let's see how to open this up. It has this nice, intricate, really tight, really tight seal on it. I mean, it's also a shame to rip that apart, but oh, here we go. See, it's Santa holding the egg. It smells a bit different. It smells like the real Kinder chocolate rather than the generic stuff. That's good. Taste wise, hmm. so yeah, basically, it's an extra large Kinder egg. As you can see, it's hollow, and yeah, there inside it, there's a toy. Get that out. Hmm. Okay. Got a little. Uh, turn that down. A little penguin and some things. Oh, there's a string in here too. Yeah, let's see how this works. Penguins. Okay, this goes here. The spinning top. Oh, how clever. Alright, well, okay, there it is. I think it can spin around. 
Mm, no, it's not spinning top. Oh, it's actually a Christmas decoration. Okay, so yeah, thread it. Eh. Thread that through. Okay, there you go. Something to hang on the tree, actually. That's clever. Yeah, I like it. I would recommend you get those for your young children. They'll like it. So, Kinder, good. Okay, for something a little more adult, we have lint. Irresistibly smooth. Extra dark. Now, lint always does very high quality chocolate. So, we open up. Oh man, these even smell delicious. Um, yeah, it's like a little black Death Star. Mm. Chocolate Gasm. Buy those for your party. Seriously. Buy these things for your party. You get some thank you. They're delicious. Get them now. Doesn't know everything else is going to be a letdown, but got some more lint. We'll save that for the end. Also, I have a uh, chocolate Santa and chocolate snowman. These cost me three fifty each, so yeah, if I got them out, they better be worth it. Yeah, Santa wants to see us from Santa. Nobody cares about Mr. Snow. Okay, Santa, how do you taste? Good smell. Mass produced chocolate. Oh, I didn't really show you this, but yeah, we've got different colored chocolate for the different parts. It's nice. Yeah. Good mass produced, but not worth three fifty. I would avoid. I advise not getting those. Okay, as for the snowman. Once again, different colored chocolate represents a different bits, even though little red chocolate stars for some reason. Hmm, quite thick. Ooh. Can I see how thick that is? Again, not terrible, but overpriced. Do not get, would not buy again. I need some traditional. At some point, Terry's decides their chocolate oranges were a traditional Christmas thing, so market them a big way around Christmas. They've jumped on the whole resealable bag of bits wagon. So. Let's see what's in here. These are made with real orange oil, apparently, so as you can see, there's a little bit in there. A bit small, but it's plenty of them. It's got that patina that sometimes happens on low-quality chocolate, so not looking good here. Mm. It's okay. If you like orange chocolate, probably works it, but yeah, otherwise, don't bother. Uh, 
Now they have also, in addition to their orange bar, we see we stand orange, orange. So uh, take the segments and make them into an orange shape. That's interesting. Okay, fair amount of packaging into this one. There it is. Okay, so kind of unfolds like a flower. Oh, this is it. Yeah. There it is. Oh, that's going to be interesting to eat on Christmas Day. And. Okay, so it just kind of comes apart. Mm, nice big sizes. Okay, these are really very high quality chocolate. Gotta yeah, smell better. Got a nice knock to them, no patina. Okay, so let's see how they taste. Good snap. Mm. Is that enough? Tastes less orangey, more chocolatey? Yeah, pretty high end product. Don't know if I'd buy it again. Maybe give it to a couple of young children to share because it is fun taking out the little segments. Yeah, plus it looks like, I don't know if you can see, but I think at the end you have a little core of chocolate left over. Extra treat. Then we have Christmas jellies. Picked these up in our petrol stations. They were on special offer two for a fiver. Got a Santa, a snowman. As is also an elf, and I'm pretty sure I saw a penguin. Let's see, open from the bottom. Let's get up. Let's get up. Let's get up. Well. Yeah, it certainly looks like you're getting more than you do. And I honestly don't know why people just put a bag in these plastic things. Just put the sweet straight into it. Less packaging makes it easier for everyone. Open this, smells good. Okay, these little white ones. They're my own favorite, aren't they? Tree, a couple of other things. Hmm. My verdict decent sweets, but overpriced. Kind of a running theme here. It's a good product, but charge way too much just for the Christmas cup, just for the Christmas thing, so. Yeah, I mean, look. Beaten two of them. Barely fills up Santa's head. Avoid it. Way overpriced. Okay, and finally, we have. Hello, we are the incredible Ultra Thin Chocolates from Lint. So this might be a good way to close out my re video review. Okay, a party thing. Huh, oh, that's cool. Perfect for smooth melting moments. Okay, so we've got... Yeah, we've got vanillas and caramel brownies in there. That was good. Okay, okay. Yeah, they are really freaking thin, so... Yeah, definitely for when you've got the relatives over. Mmm. Mm. Double hit. That is so good. Good aftertaste. Start. Okay, so the caramel brownies, the brown ones, start off with chocolate, turn to caramel. I love lint. Okay, uh, how about the vanilla ones? Again, they are so freaking thin. That is so cool. I'm not a fan of vanilla, but I like that, so 
Find the verdict, totally get Lint stuff. Lint make Lint does chocolate like no others. They know what they're on about. Lint good. Uh Jankin surprised, also pretty good. Yeah, rest of the stuff. Don't bother. Yeah, final verdict. Christmas sweets, overpriced. Get the cheap generic stuff, I mean cheap as shit, but it's worth the money. Rest of the stuff, no.